Well, earlier we talked about Uber threatening to shut down in California. Now Lyft has said that they're going to do the same thing if these court orders that have been issued, if they're made, if they're forced to comply, and if there isn't an exemption made for them. Uh, so I just got my phone here real quick, and this is from CNET. Lyft President John Zimmer said during an earnings call with investors on Wednesday that if our efforts here are not successful, it would force us to suspend operations in California. So this is all based on a, a judgment that came out um, and only giving Uber and Lyft 10 days to comply with the AB5 regulations. Uh, it's part of a lawsuit against Uber and Lyft and basically, you know, this is not looking good for Uber and Lyft. So what I think is really happening here is Uber and Lyft are both flexing their muscles and they're saying, look, if, if you're going to make us comply with these laws, we're going to shut down and we're going to make it hard for tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of California residents, including some people that work for the government. And this is where we're going to see whether or not government is going to allow themselves to be pushed around by businesses. Because their claims, both Uber and Lyft, are claiming that they can't transition to full-time employees fast enough. Well, they've known that this was coming since January. So they have had eight months to get ready to transition. So for them to say, we can't do it, is just unfathomable to me. These are dynamic businesses. These are businesses that have to be able to adjust quickly. And, I mean, this is incredible. I mean, along, you know, Lyft is saying they took 61% losses uh, in the last quarter. Are they really going to shut things down and in their largest markets? I, I don't think that's the case. So where do we go from here? Do, if you're a driver in California, are you concerned about losing basically losing your job in the next eight, what, eight days. This is a major thing for all of you. I, I feel for you if you are stressing out over this, and I hope that there's a good result. I'm fortunate that my market, we, there have been some challenges to the way Uber and Lyft do their hiring, if you will, if, whether or not we're employees. But most of that's down in New York City, and I'm not really affected by that very much because I'm in a smaller market. Again, um, I think this is just businesses trying to muscle around the government and get their way. Uh, personally, I don't think that we should be classified as employees if we don't want to be. I think the hybrid model that Dara presented is a great model. We are stuck in this uh, archaic classification of employees, and I think it's time to change. All right, that's all I have to say about this right now. I'm John from Ride Upstate, and remember, even if you're in a small market, you don't have to settle for small profits. Bye.